Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene's.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 3, Closed Path. The line sew and the region sew tools that we have placed on our quick access bar, which also can be found under uh, attributes. Once we use the select tool and select it, it activates them and now we can see on our quick access tool that this is a line, is a zigzag and it's red and the fill is, a, is pink and it's a fill stitch. You can also find this under attributes, but so we won't have to always be clicking on all these tabs. That's why we put it down on our quick access tool. Now, we can change the line from a zigzag by using the drop down to a running stitch. Or we can change it to a triple stitch, which is pretty much the same as a running stitch, except it's a little thicker, a little heavier. We can change it to a most teeth stitch which is too large for this application, but that could be size smaller. Uh, a stem stitch, a candle wicking stitch, or a EV stitch. Uh, a lot of people call that a blanket stitch. But I'm going to keep it back at a zigzag stitch. And let's change the color to green. The same can be done in the region tool, region sew. It tells us it's pink. We can change the color of that too if you like. Uh, we can change it to yellow. That doesn't show up, but we'll change it to purple so you can see that better. And it tells us that it's a fill stitch. It can also be changed to a satin stitch, but because the stitches would be too long, I don't recommend that. But you can see from here that it is the machine's going to drop a stitch when it gets over 10 millimeters long because the machine's not going to go back and forth for that length without dropping a stitch. So as long as you can go, I think it's 8 or 10 uh, millimeters before it will drop a stitch. Programmable fill makes a uh, some sort of fill. Let's look at that in the realistic preview. You can see how it will create a pattern or a, a fill there and we'll go over that a little bit more later. It can do a piping stitch which will uh, works better with the manual punch tool. Uh, we did mo motif, did we do? Okay, that's filling it with a motif. Cross stitch. Concentric circle. the radial stitch, the spiral stitch. Now if this were a circle form it would look very much like the concentric circle but, uh, bec but the uh, spiral stitch just uh, follows the line of your design. And the stippling stitch. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see the randomness of this stipple stitch. And this looks really good uh, if you're trying to do a quilting effect. So we'll go back to the default, which is a fill stitch. Now, uh, in PE Design Next, uh, the zigzag and the fill stitch are the default. So if you want to change the nature of your uh, fills or your outlines, uh, you'll have to pull the drop-down menus and change the type of stitch from there.